Spice Vault. Is Atwell a possible roster cut with Powell owning a spot? I don't think so at all. Uh, Atwell is in his second year, really still his first year because he didn't play all of his rookie season. He's a second round pick. This is not a team that wastes picks very often. I mean, they gave Sam Sloman an opportunity until he absolutely was one of the worst kickers you could possibly imagine. Uh, and then they let him go. But they don't like to waste draft picks. I couldn't really see it. Uh, I think Atwell's going to have a role this year. I really do. I'm I'm on the Atwell train. Anyone wants to join me, go ahead. Um, if you don't, that's fine. But I'll just say this. You know, 2-2 two, two Atwell, there are common misconceptions with him. First thing, he's Tavon Austin. He... He's 140 pounds. He's 5'5". Five, five. No, he's not. Okay? He's probably closer to 180 now than you would believe. And on top of it, he's not 5'5". Five, five. He's 5'9". Five, there are multiple guys that have been on the Rams in the Sean McVay era that are, like, way shorter than 5'9". Uh, Nick Roby Coleman. Dante Dion. Uh, you know, the list kind of goes on. They don't care about size. That's the biggest thing I, I want to really point out. The Rams don't care about the height of players. They just don't. They don't. So this whole, like, you know, Atwell is too short or Atwell is too small or Atwell isn't fast enough or he's just another Tavon Austin. He's not just another Tavon Austin. This is coming from somebody that loved Tavon Austin, okay? Tavon Austin was a thrill to watch in college. Absolute thrill. But Tavon Austin was a gadget player. And that's the thing we never really... I mean, some people picked up on it. There were warning signs. But for the most part, they are not the same player, okay? 2-2 two, two Atwell is a more refined route runner, and he's willing to go up and high point the football at 5-9. He's willing to go up and make an attempt. You don't see... Like, Tavon Austin's not going to jump ball the football, okay? He's probably going to try to rip the guy down, bring him down, and tackle him. Like, 2-2 two, two Atwell will go up there and high point the football. And Atwell, for the most part, when he had good comp, uh, quarterback play out of Malik Cunningham, he looked really good. And then this, the last year, when Malik Cunningham had a really bad year, he still looked good. And if you watch the film, you can see he was held back by Cunningham in, in year two with him. So I'll say this. He's not going anywhere. The Rams have, we just talked about slow playing with Greg Gaines. The Rams are going to slow play it with 2-2 Atwell. If you think it's crazy to slow play it, just look at how long they've slow played Terrell Burgess, uh, yeah, Greg Gaines. You you can look at Joe Nopum. I mean, it took him past the rookie deal for him to finally become the starter. That's not necessarily talent-wise, but, I, I mean, you know, they had Andrew Whitworth, but still, the point still stands. They have plenty of talent, but Tutu Outwell is very young, and he's very explosive. And I think what we were quick to do is just assume he was going to be a returner. Atwell's not a returner. Atwell's a legit slot receiver that can play on the boundary and can actually win off the line of scrimmage. You know, he, he doesn't have the size that you would think he would, but I'm telling you, watch the tape. He's got good footwork. He's a good route runner, and he's got good hands. It's why, and I know I'm going to get flack for saying this because I did on Twitter, but it's why he led the NFC in receptions in preseason. And then people will say, well, why are you using preseason stats? He didn't get a chance in the offense. Well, you know, people will be like, well, he wasn't ready, and that shows that he's a bust. Van Jefferson went from 22 catches, I believe, his rookie year, to going to 800-plus yards and being 7th in the league in yards per reception. You said, and I'm not saying all of you, but some people out there said they needed a deep threat. I told you you had Van Jefferson and you were fine. They still went out and got Deshaun Jackson and they got Tutu Atwell. Deshaun Jackson left and they didn't even need him. Clearly, Van was always the deep threat. But on top of it, now you have Atwell and now you have Jacob Harris. You got to let these guys develop. And the Rams, they are in a very good position here where they can because, yeah, okay, like you'd like to see Atwell out there. You'd like to see number 15 blowing it up second round, you know, pick, all of that. But they don't need him to. Like, it's just, it's petty to call this guy a bust and complain when in reality they don't need him right now. Like, I think he'll play a little bit. If they get Odell, 
Odell will be back in November, so I think he'll play a little bit next year. But they don't need him right now. They got Allen Robinson. They got Cooper Cup. They got Van Jefferson. They got Tyler Higby, Kendall Bland, Bryson Hopkins. And on top of that, they got running backs. All three of them can catch passes. Akers, Henderson, and Kyron Williams. There is so much talent. They don't need Tutu Atwell to go right in right away and be a game breaker. They don't. And that is actually a benefit. This is why I think it was a good fit for Atwell, because while I do think he's more NFL ready than people give him credit for, this is a guy that's going to get an opportunity to learn from the best of the best. He's going to be around Allen Robinson and Cooper Cup. Those guys are fantastic receivers, both number one receivers on this team. He's going to get an opportunity to see Van Jefferson. He knows what Van went through his rookie year. Van can help him out. He's going to be around Eric Yarber, who's one of the best receivers coaches in the league. This was a really, really good fit for 2-2 two, two Outwell. So for me, yeah, long game. Okay, they're playing, they're slow playing it again. It's okay. It's okay. He's not going to come in and blow the barn doors off. Okay, it's fine. Let the guy develop. I'm just saying, you you might be pretty impressed if when he gets a shot. Uh, the Rams wouldn't have anybody on the roster if they didn't believe in their talent. So Atwell will have a role. You don't just draft him in the second round and not give him a role. 